understanding different launch modes in Android. Launch modes allow you to define how a new instance of an activity is associated with the current task, you can define different launch modes in two ways. One using the manifest file. Two using intent flags. As such, if activity A starts activity B, activity B can define in its manifest how it should associate with the current task, if at all, and activity A can also request how activity B should associate with current task. If both activities define how activity B should associate with a task, then activity A's request, as defined in the intent, is honored over activity B's request, as defined in its manifest. There are four different launch modes. 1. Standard, the default mode, the system creates a new instance of the activity in the task, the activity can be instantiated multiple times, each instance can belong to different tasks, and one task can have multiple instances, suppose a task's backstack consists of root activity A with activities B, C, and D on top, the stack is A, B, C, D, D is on top, an intent arrives for an activity of type D, if D has the default standard launch mode, a new instance of the class is launched and the stack becomes A, B, C, D, D as shown in figure. 2. Single top. If an instance of the activity already exists at the top of the current task, the system routes the intent to that instance through a call to its on you intent method, rather than creating a new instance of the activity, the activity can be instantiated multiple times, each instance can belong to different tasks, and one task can have multiple instances, but only if the activity at the top of the backstack is not an existing instance of the activity, if DS launch mode is single top, the existing instance of D receives the intent through on your intent, because it's at the top of the stack the stack remains A B C D, however, if an intent arrives for an activity of type B, then a new instance of B is added to the stack, even if its launch mode is single top. 3. Single task. The system creates a new task and instantiates the activity at the root of the new task. However, if an instance of the activity already exists in a separate task, the system routes the intent to the existing instance through a call to its on new intent method, rather than creating a new instance, only one instance of the activity can exist at a time, in the above example, as there was no instance of D, so new task is created, as in other case D instance was already in task, so same D instance gets called, on you intent, get called. 4. Single instance, same as single task, except that the system doesn't launch any other activities into the task holding the instance. The activity is always the single and only member of its task, any activities started by this one open in a separate task, in the above example, as there was no instance of D, so new task is created. As in other case, from D, single instance, a new activity E, is launched, it will be on separate task.